Honda Motor Company, the first Japanese automaker to establish a plant in the U.S., has been in Marysville, Ohio since 1979. When Honda decided to open a plant in the United States, Japanese car makers were questioning whether U.S. auto workers could make a product that achieved the high level of quality in Japanese produced cars. Since opening the plant, Honda of America has not only achieved Honda of Japan's outstanding quality standards, but has also become a significant member of Honda's global team by assuming leadership for American manufacturing. This success has led other Japanese auto manufacturers to open plants in the U.S. A decade after opening the Marysville plant, modeled after its manufacturing plants in Japan, Honda implemented over 800 suggestions from their associates and built their first American-designed auto plant in East Liberty, Ohio. Honda employs nearly 13,200 associates and deals with 450 original domestic suppliers at its Marysville and East Liberty auto plants. These two plants make Accords, Civics, and some models of the Acura. Both plants export these cars to over 100 countries worldwide. At Honda, quality began with its late leader, Soichiro Honda, whose company philosophy of maintaining a global viewpoint while being dedicated to supplying products of the highest quality at a reasonable cost for worldwide customer satisfaction has not changed since 1950. For Sam Kennedy, a senior staff engineer in manufacturing, planning ahead is the key to quality control. The advantage you have of planning ahead is that uh, the, the problems can be fixed in the design stages and you don't have to worry about those once you get into manufacturing. The reason that's better is, is uh, because it's more cost effective and uh, also uh, you, you end up having a better quality product. For Sam Kennedy, planning ahead means planning five years ahead. Honda's new model cycle is based on the Deming cycle of plan, do, check, act. The engineers at Honda check any design flaws and quality issues affecting the current model. Then a team of designers, engineers, quality control officers, suppliers, and associates act on their findings and plan better production methods and equipment for the new model. The new methods and equipment are tested and the employees are trained to use them. By the time new models go into production, there is little threat of equipment failure or improperly trained employees. Once the plans are implemented, the associates assemble the new models on the assembly line. Production of the new model usually overlaps with production of the current model. The cycle continues as problems from the new model emerge, and quality control groups examine how production can run smoother. By following these steps, Honda ensures that the new process will run efficiently and at the highest quality possible, even before the first model enters the assembly line. The reason we have one of the most efficient uh, new model cycles is because we engage all areas of our company, manufacturing and uh, R&D and sales side, in trying to improve the, uh, the product uh, as we develop it. For Honda's employees, the work that surrounds introducing a new model is very important for quality control. Preparing associates for what is to come prevents quality problems and bottlenecks later. An important part of Honda's plan ahead theory of quality is employee training. Honda emphasizes continuous employee training so that production never has to be shut down, even during model changeover years. When we change over from the old model to the new model, uh, traditionally automotive man manufacturers shut down. and. Uh, uh, we've uh, elected not to do that for a couple of reasons. One is uh, it's not cost effective uh, because you lose production. And the uh, second reason is is because uh, the, uh, the associates actually doing the processes, uh, uh, they actually make less mistakes and do a better job if, if they maintain the same level of production uh, uh, capacity and efficiency. And, uh, we actually overlap our production uh, for them to do that. The old model and the new model actually overlap each other. In addition, 
employees work on different current models of the same car, like a Civic Coupe and a Civic Sedan. It's not unusual for associates to assemble several different types of the same car in a single day. In order to keep the quality of each car consistently high, Honda encourages associates to be familiar with as many tasks and departments as possible. Within each department, associates may learn as many as four tasks, so they can rotate tasks every two hours. This rotation prevents quality fatigue. Quality fatigue is uh, uh, typically what you talk about when humans do a job for too long of a period of time and they start making mistakes. And uh, uh, when you're in a production environment and you work on an assembly line particularly and you do a repetitive job uh, for too long of a period of time, uh, you will develop quality fatigue. And uh, there's several methods to get around this. The method that we use is that uh, our associates, uh, they rotate from one job to another job every couple of hours. And uh, this keeps them fresh and, and keeps them from making uh, mistakes, uh, from uh, becoming too uh, uh, dependent on doing one process continually. In addition to training programs at each station, Honda created and installed thorough operation standards that are easily referenced. These operation standards include step-by-step -step instructions and color photos of each task performed in the department. Along with training, communication is the key to maintaining high quality control levels. Every shift begins with a meeting where quality issues from the earlier shift are discussed along with solutions to problems that develop on the assembly line. The meetings are led by team leaders who answer to department heads. Department heads attend larger quality control meetings daily and filter information down to the team leaders. Department heads report to quality control leaders, engineers, and designers who are constantly monitoring quality control, measuring defect rates, and assessing trends. Designers participate in frequent quality circles where associates voice their opinions on how the line can run better. Another important element of Honda's production team is the supplier. At Honda, suppliers are treated like family, which is a Japanese tradition. The supplier designs their own products with little or no supervision from Honda. Honda simply gives them the design specifications and the quality standards, then lets the suppliers devise the most efficient, cost-effective manner with which to make the parts. We treat our suppliers as a direct extension of our facility. Uh, the suppliers are responsible for their own quality. Uh, we have very demanding standards for those suppliers uh, uh, that we call quality standards. Uh, the suppliers uh, are required to meet that on, on a routine basis uh, and we work with them uh, when they have problems. If, uh, if they don't uh, achieve some of their targets and uh, provide the product that we want, we have to work with them to fix it because we can't build a good product without having uh, good parts and uh, uh, the supplier is continually focusing on getting zero defects and uh, this continuous improvement process is the same thing that we do in-house. Uh, it's the same thing that we do at the supplier. Honda doesn't test the products that their suppliers ship to them unless they've had a problem or the supplier is new. Honda feels it's the supplier's responsibility to ship out perfectly conforming parts. With our suppliers, uh, we expect them to guarantee their quality. Uh, therefore, we don't inspect their parts when they come in. And uh, we use uh, the same philosophy in-house, and we apply that to our suppliers. And uh, what that philosophy is, is that the next process is the customer. And uh, when you look at it from that perspective, uh, from a supplier's point of view, uh, if they treat Honda as the next customer, as the customer, because it's the next process, uh, then it makes sense that they guarantee the quality themselves. That's why we don't have to inspect parts. Although the no testing procedure sounds alarming, Honda suppliers are actually encouraged to test their own products on the assembly line. This way, Honda is allowing their suppliers to take responsibility for their own products. 
Honda also invites suppliers to be guest engineers during the development of the new model. Participating on the ground level of new model design allows Honda suppliers to understand and meet Honda's needs for the next model. Ultimately, responsibility for quality lies in the hands of the associates who actually assemble the cars. Honda has 13,200 quality control inspectors, not just a quality team at the end of the line. Every associate has the power to stop the line for a quality control issue. Problems on the line are fixed where they are found, not just at the end of the line. There are boards installed in various places on the line that show planned daily output versus actual output. Associates can glance at that scoreboard to learn immediately whether or not they are achieving their daily targets. If an associate finds quality defects during the day, they inform their team leader, then enter the defects into a computer. The computer tracks them for daily reports and immediately updates the actual numbers and the straight ship numbers on the scoreboard. By informing associates of their progress, Honda makes their employees accountable for quality. This approach builds incentive and teamwork and keeps associates interested in maintaining quality control. Honda's reputation as a quality car maker has endured throughout its tenure in the United States. By planning ahead, trusting employees and suppliers to maintain high quality standards, revising production processes, and continuously training employees, Honda has proven that U.S. auto workers can build outstanding, high-quality cars that are affordable to consumers.